Good morning. You're welcome to Morning Charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. Today, Saturday, April 8, 2023. And I'm sure everyone is going to be mightily blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Before we go into our devotional, let's have one word of prayer. Father, once again, we thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for the beauty of nature and every good thing around us. Thank you because we are counted among the living today. And Lord, we shall forever be able to praise your name. Lord, we say thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise, Lord. As we go into your word, Father, let the entrance of your word bring light to our soul, spirit, body, and let every darkness around us vanish. In the name of Jesus, thank you, King of glory. For at the end, we shall be mightily blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Another beautiful day, another glorious morning. A day which the Lord has made, and we shall all rejoice and be glad in it. Our devotional topic for today is the secret of the blessed life the blessed life not just a blessed life the life that comes from the almighty himself the life that is blessed what is the secret i pray today as the lord begins to reveal that those secrets for us and even more after today the lord will continue to bless us mightily in the name of jesus christ Look at Psalm 84, 12, the memory verse. It says, O oh Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusted in thee. So, my first question to you, beloved, this morning. Do you trust in God? If you trust Him, then truly you'll be blessed. We're going to read the fire scripture in Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 7 to 8. Jeremiah 17, verses 7 to 8. I'm sure you have your Bible with you. And I read, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. It means if you trust God, your hope will be in Him. What's going to happen? For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit. This is the promise of God for that man, for that woman, for that young person, for that old person that wants to live a blessed life. Let's look at our devotion now. It tells us everybody wants to be successful in life. You want to be successful? I want to be successful. And so when we want to live a life of success, that automatically means we want to be blessed. Because nobody, no one at all, young or old, that want to live, that would want to live a life of misery, a life of pain. So we find out that either good or bad, people strive, you know, to be successful. And they believe that is just the way to be blessed. But unfortunately, it is not. There is more to a blessed life. To live a blessed life is from the Lord. Just like we have read in the book of Jeremiah. Blessed is the one who puts his trust and hope in the Lord. That's where a blessed life comes from. There are secrets to living this blessed life. And I want us to un 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 unfold those secrets through scriptures. Beloved, to live a blessed life, what does it mean? It means to live a meaningful life. It means to live a, a peaceful life. It means living a life that is resourceful. Not a life that profits nothing. It means to live a life that is purposeful, that is pro prosperous at the end of the day. And when I say prosperous, I don't just mean physical prosperity. I don't mean financial prosperity. We're not even talking about 
what you have or what you are worth here. But what we're saying, all run prosperity, prosperity of the body, of the soul, and of the spirit, according to 3 John verse 2. The Lord wants us to prosper all round. That's a blessed life. What again is a blessed life? A life that is pleasing unto the God, unto our God, the Lord God Almighty. If one is living a life and it does not please God, then there is more to it. And so we find people who discover this secret in scripture. People like Job, like Abraham, like Noah, like Joseph, Esther, Deborah, David, and of course Jesus Christ, our Lord and Master, our Savior himself. This morning, the Lord will help us to discover more of the secrets. Because these people discovered something that is common to all of them. And what is that? Unshakable trust in the Lord. No wonder that Psalm 84 tells us, Blessed is the man that trusted in thee. I want you to take that memory verse to heart. The Lord help me to trust in you so that I will really be blessed. These people have a, 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 a trust that is steadfast, that is strong in the Lord, that is unshakable. And that's what we Christians should covet today. So beloved, are you ready to trust God? When I say trust, I mean all, trust Him in everything. Beloved, you cannot trust God except some things happen. What are those things? We need to know that. Number one, you need to know the God that you want to trust. You can't trust Him without knowing Him. You cannot trust Him without uh, uh, having a relationship with Him. You can't trust Him without reverencing Him. That's where the fear of God comes in. And you can't trust Him without doing His bidding. I mean, obeying His word. So there is more to this blessed life. The secrets, some of them I've already told you. Put your hope in the Lord. Trust in Him. Fear God. Have a relationship with Him, of course. And then be ready to do His will. But you see, before we go deeper into all of these things, because we need to know Him, you must know Him. He's the Savior of the whole world. Silver and gold are in His hands. If you are seeking physical wealth, financial prosperity, it is Him that teaches us how to make wealth. But if you want all-round wellness, all-round blessedness, so that at the end of the day when you are blessed, you too will in turn be a blessing to other people, then you need to go beyond that. You need to develop a deep intimacy with the Almighty God. We're going to discover that through the scriptures. As we continue, you need to know him through his word. You need to be able to commune with him at the place of prayer. To unburden your heart, talk to him, and then he will talk to you. The things you need to do, the things you don't need to do. So that as you follow suit in his word, every blessedness that he has ordained for your life, you will receive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So beloved, it is time to go on a short break. When we're back, we're going to look deeply into more of the scriptures. I want you to stay tuned. I don't want you to be disconnected. You desire a blessed life. It is time to keep your mind on the Lord God Almighty. There is nothing the world can offer you called blessed. It is only God that blesses. And when he blesses a man, he's surely blessed. I believe in the name of Jesus. Yes, you are blessed, but the Lord is going to touch you in a new way today. You are going to be more blessed than ever before. People of God, stay connected. Keep your Bibles open, your devotional book beside you. When we're back, we'll go deeper into scriptures. we we'll look more into our devotional writer for the day. And then, you, you know those secrets. You're able to follow the secrets. Live by them every day. And then you become a victor that the Lord has prepared you to become. God bless you as we return in a short while. In Jesus' name, amen. 
through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about. And leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 8. Life changing encounter with a gun that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Praise the Lord. You welcome back once again to um, devotional time, the morning church with the Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. We're talking on the blessed life, the secret of the blessed life. Let's look into Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 is a book that tells us how God blessed the people of Israel. And the blessings here are still the same for us today, as long as we're a child of God through faith in Christ Jesus. And I read open. To 28, Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 to 13. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I said it earlier on. Are you ready to know God through His Word? Are you ready to read, listen, and obey His voice through the Word and do His commandments? Then this blessings here shall be yours. Of course, you, 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 as you go on along, you'll see that these few chapters are all filled with words of blessings. It said, Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy can, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou shalt comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. This is a blessing on you as a person, on your household, on what you lay your hands to do, and that means you prosper. In everything, your profession, your career, your handwork, your vocation, your business, your ministry. He blesses everything and everything around you. And he says, goes on, seven. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. This is victor victory. Victorious uh, uh, blessings. Meaning that it's not, like I said, it's not just about the physical blessings. You will prosper in every way and you will even be victorious over your enemies. Eight, the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And it shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. When God begins to make emphasis on his word, it is to tell us that he wants us to do exactly what is contained in those words. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Of course, we all sing. Abraham's blessings are mine. 
I am blessed in the morning, in the noon, and in the evening. We are children of Abraham by faith. And so if Abraham was blessed, of a truth we are blessed. And more so by the blood of Jesus shed for us upon the cross of Calvary, he made himself poor so that we can be rich. And we are going to be rich not just in the physical, in everything. So, beloved, you are blessed indeed in the name of Jesus. But see, he says, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. So, you, do you want to be blessed? Do you want to live a blessed life? Then, beloved, the secrets are in the hands of the Lord. The one who gives us every good thing that we need. Started by telling you, you need to establish an intimacy with him. I want to read also another uh, 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 book of the Bible. Go with me to the book of Psalms. And we're going to read from verses 1 to 3. And there you will see again that God blesses his beloved. Are you a man or a woman that wants to be blessed? Then you must walk in the way of the Lord. Psalm 1. So blessed is the man that walketh not, not in the counsel of the ungodly. So don't move with ungodly people. Nor stand in the way of sinners. Don't be found in the congregation of sinners. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Whosoever is with the wise will increase in wisdom. But if you go with the fools, I mean, that person will have to pay for it. The third instruction, still in verse 1, say, nor seated in the seats of the scoffer. So, can you see, beloved? You don't walk, you don't stand, you don't sit. It means, wherever you're going to stand, sit, or walk, must be in the congregation of the beloved. Iron sharpness, iron. The deep call unto the deep. When you do that, what's going to happen? Verse 2, said the blessed man, he is but his delight is in the law of the Lord. It means you don't just do away with the word of God. You take it in like Jeremiah. You eat it. You chew it. It becomes like honey in your mouth. You are not able to do away with it. It's like fire in your bones. And what does it do with the law of the Lord? In his law does he meditate day and night. And what would happen? Verse 3. And he... Beloved, you, he, she, her, shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. The same thing we read in the book of Jeremiah 17, verses 7 to 8. The blessed man, the one who is living a blessed life, is like a tree. When a tree is planted by the rivers of water, what happens? It lacks no water. It is nurtured, nourished from time to time, refreshed, and is able to Produce fruit. Said that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. It's a fruitful tree. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. May you prosper in everything you do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These are the secrets of a blessed life. The secret of a blessed life. Beloved, are you ready to go all the way for the Lord? Are you ready to do his bidding? Are you ready to do all that the Lord is asking you today? Let me remind you again. You can't trust the one whom you do not know. So the first thing you need to do, you must trust God. You must know God. That is, surrender your life to Him. Through His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Realize that God is the creator of the whole world. And everything and anything that we need is in His hands. You, you've been struggling, going up and down. Do you know how much you have sweated and labored and nothing has come out of it? Today I pray for you that every anointing of sweating and struggling without result, let that negative anointing dry up now in the name of Jesus Christ so that you can enjoy the blessedness that the Lord has prepared. Know Him. And trust your life into his hands because he cares for you. From day to day, get deep, deeper in your intimacy with him. Read the word of God like we have just um, 
write this morning, each of the instructions, be ready to carry them out. When you trust someone higher than you, you fear and reverence him. You obey his word. You do his commandments. You find time to communicate with him all the time through the word and through prayer. As much as you do all of that, beloved, just like we read in that Psalm 1, you meditate in it day and night. Then, as you live by it, and a lover of prayer, communing with the Lord every day, you are sure to be blessed. And I know you will, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Joshua 1 8 says, This book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Another instruction that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then shall thy way shall make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success. This is the word of the Lord. You are blessed as you continue in it. We're coming back again before uh, we go into our prayers and then we say good morning once again. Take a break. We come back. Remain connected and you're surely blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. See you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about. And leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 8. Life changing encounter with a gun that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back, beloved people of God. Still on the secret of the blessed life. By now, I'm sure you're shining and trusting God with all that we have said and all that we have read. So many scriptures. Don't forget them. Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8, Joshua 1, 8, Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 13. And I want you to take time to read Psalm 1 verse, uh, from verses 1 to 3. All of this, meditate upon them. And don't forget that Joshua says, when you have done all of that, you shall make your own way prosperous and you will have good success. So you are part of the game. God is there to bless you. But you, are, you too must do certain things so that the blessings can rest upon you. But don't forget again, when you are blessed, you must be a blessing. Don't remain an island. Don't just contain everything to yourself. Be ready to share it physically and otherwise with other people. The Lord make you blessed indeed in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray this first prayer with me. And you're going to open your mouth. Say, oh God, my father, help me to build a close relationship with you. In the name of Jesus, you better open your mouth. Help me to build a close relationship with you. Yes, when you're intimate with the Lord, when you're deeply in love with him, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, there surely will be a turnaround in your life. You will not remain the same again. You'll be blessed like Abraham, blessed like Joseph, blessed like the patriarchs. In the name of Jesus, help me, Lord, to build, to establish a closer relationship, a closer relationship every day, daily, every moment with you, Lord. And it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. We're still going to pray. You're going to join me to pray this. Say, Father, reveal to me the true secret of 
blessedness in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. We've heard some today. The Lord wants to talk to you more. Psalm 25, 14. He said, the Lord revealed his covenant to those. It's the, sec it's the secrets of the Lord. Uh, with those with whom he has kept his covenant. Those who trust in him. So you have to develop that intimacy. Say, my father revealed to me the true secret of, of true blessedness. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Open your mouth. Deep secrets of true blessedness. We've heard some now. The Lord is ready to release more to you. The Holy Spirit will take you by the hand. You will work together. You will continue to be blessed all the days of your life. In the morning, in the noon, in the evening. At home, at, outside, wherever you are. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to pray again. Say, oh God, my Father, bless the work of my hands. <laughs> It's time to bless the work of our hands. But sh make sure you are not lazy. Make sure you are not idle, doing nothing. God will not bless just anything. Bless the work of my hands. He has promised us in the book of Deuteronomy 28 that we read, He will bless your bread, bless your water, bless your storehouse, bless everything that you lay your hands upon. He wants to bless us. Bless the work of my hands, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I'm sure the work of your hands are clean. I'm sure you have actually surrendered to the Lord. You cannot surrender to him and then take it back again. He's ready to bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The last prayer I want you to pray in this morning charge. I don't want you to be selfish. When you truly bless, you must be a blessing to other people. Do you know what happens? It makes that blessedness to expand, enlarge. Say, Father, bless me. And make me a blessing to others across the world in the name of Jesus. All over the world, not just your family, anywhere and everywhere. Make me a blessing to others. Make me a blessing, a blessing. Let me be able to flow into lives and to bless them. Bless me indeed, O oh Lord, that I may be a blessing to other people in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, it is settled. You shall be blessed, beloved. You are already blessed in the name of Jesus. And you will go and be a blessing to other people. And of course, the world will shine and rise at your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, pray for your entire family, that the blessedness of God shall come upon you in the name of Jesus. Grace to do his will, walk in his way, remain obedient to him, and fear him all the days of your life. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It is well with you and the entire your entire family and everything you do. Keep loving God. Keep trusting. Keep obeying Him. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. No evil shall befall you this day. Neither shall any plague move near your camp. So wicked powers ganging up against me, scatter in seven ways. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day, beloved.